Hi guys, Beaver here and welcome to the 100th episode of Police Similar Patrol Officers. Your guys' support for me has been absolutely amazing. I'd just like to thank you all from the bottom of my heart. I never thought that this series would actually ever get to 100 episodes. And yeah, I'm literally so happy right now because as you know, this is the Q&A episode. And with us today, we have not one, not two, but we have three members of the Acer Interactive dev team with us and they are going to be answering some of your questions hopefully so i don't know if you guys would just like to go ahead and introduce yourself sure um i'm laura and i'm one of the producers for police simulator patrol officers i joined asia in january and i hope we can answer all your questions okay next please uh -huh. <laughs> All right, I'm Thomas, uh, I'm a techie, and I've joined about like 10 months ago or something. Uh, and I was on some of the project or like sub projects of this uh, before. Um, for example, the proximity uh, spawning of NPCs and uh, vehicles itself. And now I'm in the vehicle system and the traffic management. Oh, that's really cool. It's really cool. And finally, we have uh, yeah, I'm Nico. I'm also a programmer. I've been here since like February last year. And yeah, recently I've also mostly worked on the traffic system. Oh, excellent, excellent. So guys, the plan for today is I have gathered a list of all of your questions that you post and it's absolutely wonderful. Thank you very much. You've all been so helpful. The questions that we've got here are really, really good questions and I've picked out 20 of them. If we don't get through all 20, we will maybe try and do another one of these at a future time. And if I don't credit you with it, please do not be offended. It just means that you wasn't the first person to ask this question because I have had multiple people asking the same question. So what I've done is the person that I've credited with it is the first person who asked it. So if you haven't been credited with it, that is why. So with that all being said, let's get into it, shall we? Now, obviously, I'd be doing my call outs and whatnot. But today, because obviously we have Laura and... Nico and Thomas with us. They're going to be answering questions, so I'm not going to be talking that much unless I'm asking a question. Other than that, they will be doing most of the talking. So we will go ahead and just get a shift started, and then once I've picked up a call, I will start asking questions. All right. Okay. Let's go ahead and jump in at the SUV today, I think. If you already screen reached, yeah, sorry, no, go ahead. Yeah, I think the screen shots are working for us. We're still sitting on the menu. Hmm. Okay, well, we will just uh, carry on with it. I don't believe that's much of a problem. It is but a minor hiccup. So, whilst we're waiting for the game to give us a call out, uh, let's start asking the questions because otherwise we're going to be here all week. So, Okay, so whilst we're going to try and find this thief, wherever they are, where are you? Mr. Thief or Mrs. Thief, where have you gone? We're going to try and find them. They've probably already absconded from the scene, knowing them. These thieves run fast in police officer, these similar patrol officers, they move very fast. Um, I think I have already lost the thief, how convenient. Okay, so let's go with another question. The second question is, as you have real-life police officers helping you develop the game, is there anything that you were going to add that was changed in quite a large way due to their feedback? And that is from Kyle. Um, yeah, so what we've changed the most based on their feedback is um, all the new traffic tools, because um, 
They told us that roadblocks and traffic cones are used in a different way as a real-time police officer, so we changed it quite a lot. Okay. So there we are. There was some quite large changes thanks to the feedback of the real-life police officers that Acer Interactive have advising them on the game, which is very good to see. It's always good to hear that, um, yeah, their feedback is taken on board and it is very much appreciated. Dude, you can do it, go on. I know you can do it. There we are, perfect. Oh, I see, we're just gonna pull over on the right-hand lane today. Okay. So, next question is from AWM Perry, and they have said, is there any chance of an expanded multiplayer, say with four players? I think that's something the, the guys can answer better than I am. Okay. Yeah, I mean, from a technical perspective, that would require a lot of changes, because right now, um, the game pretty much just assumes that there are most two players. Um, so yeah, I guess since it would require a lot of rewriting, um, it's very unlikely. Okay. So it would basically require a lot of changes in the back-end code. So effectively, it's not likely anytime soon. Exactly. Okay. As far as I know, um, it's technically possible from uh, Unreal itself. Okay. But we would basically have to go over every feature that we have ever written and make sure that uh, if we have more than two people, which is uh, pretty much everywhere implicitly assumed, that it still works. And that's going to be... A lot of work, I'd say, like this. Oh, okay. So there we are, guys. It is, in theory, possible to add the ability for you to patrol with up to four players, but that would take a lot of work, and it's currently not something that the developers are able to do, but it is possible in the future, let's say. Okay, so let's go down the list. So, uh, Mike has asked, will live robberies be a thing rather than showing up just as it has finished? So effectively, will there be like crimes in progress or anything like that instead of showing up and the crime has already finished? Like uh, a bank robbery or something like that? Well, uh, specifically the question just said robbery. I'm assuming maybe like the current call says like you have the aggravated assault, the uh, mm -hmm. you have the robbery, etc. Is it so... like possible with the, maybe the current calls? Maybe in the future with new calls that are added, they are like in progress calls. But you show up at the scene and it is still going on. No, I get the, the question. Nico, do you want to...? Uh, yeah, I mean, from a technical perspective, that's of course possible, um, but I don't know of any concrete plans of, for example, new callouts for that. Okay. So it is possible, guys, but yeah. <laughs> they, the developers are not sure if they have any plans for that, but at least it's possible. This is all good news. Yes, yeah, I'd certainly like to have a bit more variety showing up to a call as it's um, in progress. That would always be good to see. So, let's get this car searched here quickly.
Okay, so now we have a tow truck on the way. That is going to be a nice segue into the next question, which is from an anonymous person. Unfortunately, they didn't leave any name for it. So please, guys, please do leave a name so I can credit you with the question in future. Because, yeah, this question said, will you ever be able to drive the transport fan and or the tow truck? Until now, it's not planned that you are able to drive the transport van or the tow truck. Okay. Okay. And is there any reason for that? Is it just because that's outside of the scope or is it because it's not possible due to limitations? I mean, for the tow truck, um, we don't really see it, uh, see it that a police officer would drive that. So um, that's the reasoning for the tow truck. And we think it's more cool that you um, can someone call someone for help. Um, same with the with the van. Um, what we right now thinking about, but it's not yet set in stone if we do it or not. If may to maybe have a car where you can have where you can transport more people. Oh, okay. Um, but you won't, uh, so the player won't be able to drive the same um, vehicle you can call to arrest, to transport the arrestees. Oh, okay. But until yet, it's not planned. Okay, Maybe guys. Maybe if we get more time, we will do it, but until now, it's not planned at all. Right, so yeah. There we are guys, so up until at this point it is not planned that you will be able to drive the uh, tow truck or the prisoner transport fan, but you never know, could happen in the future. Okay, so the next question is from Paraglock Gaming, who has asked, is there any chance of motorcycle patrols being added? Uh, sorry, Laura, what did you want to say? No, go ahead. Um, yeah, I, sorry, I don't really know what to say about that. <laughs> I don't have any info to that. So you don't have any sort of plans or any ideas about the possibility of motorcycle patrols being added in the future? It's not planned. Okay, there we are. So it's not planned. Right. Okay, so we'll ask one more question and then I will ask the more once we have got back out on the road. Just about head back to the precinct, which is not too far away. So the next question is from it's Kyle, once again. And let me just pick up the question I was going to ask. When did you decide to do a console launch? Was it straight after the success of the police launch on the PC, or was it already planned? Did you just need the go-ahead of how well the PC version launched? So, um, it wasn't planned based on the success. We had that in mind right from the beginning, but we needed to do more research on the consoles and how they work to get the game running there. So um, that's why we um, didn't set it in stone when we first st when we started on the game and on the development. But after we did the research and found out how to do it and how we can also make the multiplayer working there, we um, agreed with our publisher Astrogon that we will do a console version and then also um, we needed to decide if we also do the, let's say, old gen PS4 and Xbox One 
um, and we agreed on that we do okay. some of the platforms. Right, yeah, because it's only coming to PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X and S, if I'm correct. That will be a surprise for the games come next week. Ah, there we are, guys. So we'll be getting some more information at Gamescom next week. So make sure you tune into that. So I will uh, see if I can get a link for you in the description below so you can go and check out the event. Okay, so the next question is from Nessius, and he has asked ELS, I think one of the coolest gadgets that a police car has is the emergency lighting system. Being able to change lighting modes on the fly, take down lights, alley lights, rear lighting only, maybe each mode customizable with their own ELS preset would be really engaging for those of us who love to make traffic policing more realistic. Sorry, could you repeat that? Yep. Uh, the question was, I think one of the coolest gadgets that a police car has the emergency lighting system. Being able to change the lighting modes on the fly, i.e. take down lights, alley lights, rear lighting only, maybe each mode is customizable with their own preset. It would be really engaging for those of us who love traffic policing the most. So, if I understand it correctly, it's basically multiple presets of ELS at the same time, right? Yes. Effectively, what he's asking is he wants to know, is it going to be possible to change each mode in on the fly, like when you're actually driving? Um, as far as I know, there's currently nothing coming in that direction. Uh, the only thing that we currently support is uh, the modding of one preset. Okay. So, the switching itself will not come directly. There might be coming something close to it, but not really on the fly switching. But it will really, sorry if I'm spoiling here, Laura, but we might work on something that will make switching things a little bit easier. Ah, I see, I see. So, there we are, guys. There will hopefully be a possibility in the future to have the ability to make switching of the ELS a bit easier, maybe an in-game option instead of you having to download a mod to Steam, maybe you'll be able to like, preview it in the game, I don't know, but yeah, at least that is possible. It's always good to see improvements like that, quality of life. Always very welcome. Okay, so the next question is from uh, an anonymous person. Are there any plans for complex offences that might require you to gauge the circumstances of what's happening or engage in dialogue with the suspect? Uh, sorry, um, sorry, no, no. You go ahead. Yeah, so right now um, we talked about something like this. We don't have a concrete plan yet. If the um, research shows us that it is possible in the time we have and with the resources we have, we try to do something like that. But until now, it's not um, set in stone or something like that. So please don't get your hopes up, let's say. Um, it is really, we just started to uh, talk about that, so we're just brainstorming right now. Right, so yeah guys, like Laura just said, obviously they've got so many ideas that they'd like to do with the game. Some of them are really early on in the, um, the brainstorming stage. 
so yeah, please don't expect it to like be added in a couple of months because it's really not that simple. I mean, I wish it was and I'm pretty sure even Laura and Thomas and Nicholas wish it was that simple, but yeah, it's just not that simple. But at least it is being brainstormed and thought about. Once again, it's another nice change that I'm sure if it was added would be very greatly appreciated and well received. So the next question is from Jalapeno Pepsi, and they have said, Will we be able to request AI backup outside of the prisoner transport vans, like officers turning up inside their own patrol vehicles to assist you on a call? No. Um, it's not planned at all. Um, it is not possible with the... Um, game talk we right now have, but I think uh, Thomas and Nicholas can explain a little bit more, uh, a little bit better on the tech depth, but it isn't that easy, and unfortunately it's, it isn't doable um, with our research, uh, resources right now, so I'm sorry to tell you that, but it's not planned. But that's not to say that it won't happen in the future, maybe in a couple of years, but what you're saying is that right now, as of the present time of recording this episode, is that you don't have any plans to bring AI uh, officer back up to the game. All right. There we are. Okay, so the next question is from Saab Devil, and they have asked, How long do you expect to support the game with updates? For just about a year, maybe more or less, will we have a map extension like with other towns or cities or other areas? Do you have anything like this in development? What I can tell you is that you can be... Um Around Gamescom there will be a lot of announcement around the game, so please look out for that, because there we will answer a lot of these questions. But to answer the question right away, we plan to support the game quite a while. But um, for uh, there will be also um, some updates, so please wait until next week, we will announce a lot there. So there we are guys, do make sure you're definitely tuned into Gamescom because that sounds like it's going to be an absolutely fantastic event. And yeah, as I said earlier, I will try and get a link to it in the description so you can uh, bookmark it for yourself and go there and check it out when it is live. Okay, so the next question is from, once again, an anonymous person. They have said, Any plans for hit and run scenarios? Possibly where you have to go and try to find a car that drove off. This could also lead to car crashes. Sorry, car chases. Until now, no, it, not, it isn't planned. Um, because we would need to rework all the traffic management we already have in the game and also we would need to rework how our cars are working which basically means we need to rework like half of the game and this isn't possible in um, time frame we think about supporting the game so maybe in a few years but until now it is not planned at all Okay. Yeah. Sorry, do you want to say something? <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to add it a little bit. Um, we did some experiments a few months ago with um, improving the AI uh, traffic vehicles. And 
I think the goal for that was also to like support car chases. Um, but yeah, those experiments have been kind of abandoned, so we didn't get very far. And yeah, basically the reason is that the way the traffic system works right now would either require significant changes or um, at least the way the new uh, traffic vehicle AI would have to work would be quite different to the existing traffic vehicles. So it would probably be a lot of work and yeah, I guess as Laura said, it's not planned right now. Okay, so there we are. So once again, there's another possible for the future, but as of right now, it is not planned. Uh, the next question is from... An anonymous person, and it says, Could there be a potential sequel to this game? Is there any other part of the police department which would you which you would love to put into the game, like SWAT, etc? I mean, we would love to do a lot. Um, and we have a lot of ideas, but unfortunately, sometimes also we need to accept that we can't do everything. Um, until now, it's not planned. Okay. Sadly. Uh, sometimes it's the way these things go. We, you know, you, we all have wonderful ideas that you'd like to put in the game, and then sometimes when you look into the possibility of maybe developing such a feature, you find that it's not possible, or there's some sort of constraint that means that you're not able to do that. question is going to be from Nasius and various other people. Are there any plans to expand modding to things like overriding other audio elements such as the radio tones with our own versions, voice lines, and also subtitles, or change the skins of other vehicles and objects like the police van, tow truck, road cones, and barriers? We have some plans to um, get more modding into the game, um, also not in the near future, so we need to wait for that a little bit, but um, the radio sound is not in there. Also voiceovers right now, it depends on how research will um, come up, if it's easy or not, but right now I wouldn't hope for it, but we have some other um, modding plans. Okay, that's good to hear. So there are plans to being other multiple elements of the game, but not necessarily the uh, radio tones, etc. Okay. Okay, okay, that sounds great. Um... I think I'm running out of questions here. <laughs> Didn't expect to get through this many. Um, the next question comes from Dam Dambyization. They have said, are there any plans to improve the cones and barriers so that we can place them near junctions to prevent AI entering closed roads? There is currently something going on in that direction, um, but um, it's more of a reduction in going into it. Uh, as in, if there is something blocked completely, the car will less likely go into it. Okay. Uh -huh. uh, now, at least, I think there's not really the option of blocking something completely. Yeah, because obviously from my own experience playing the game, you can only put the cones or the barriers so close to an intersection and yes. then the game is like, no, that's close enough. Yes, uh, the problem is if we allow that, then it's really easy to completely block all traffic flow. Right. And that would definitely impact all the other features that you don't have. And for example, if you then call some um, emergency vehicles, 
getting them to through there would require a lot of different coding stuff and uh, it wouldn't be so nice. So let's say for now I think it's not really planned on actually being allowed to put something directly on the crossing. Okay, so that would be for reasons that would likely break a lot of elements of the game and yes. make it unplayable. Yeah. Mostly it breaks the pathfinding in itself. Right, and, which is uh, kind of a big thing. <laughs> yes. We could work around that probably. Um, well, I would say definitely, but I'll have a look. Okay. Okay, the next question is from an anonymous person and they have asked, are traffic advisors planned or some other way to direct AI? Example, signs on cones or barriers. It would be nice to know that you can actually control the direction of the AI instead of them attempting to decide themselves. We have discussions in that direction, but there's uh, nothing concrete we agreed yet on. So um, we need to wait until we have a plan and see if we can do it. Just keep an eye out for the um, Trello board we have. We will update it if we have some new ideas. But um, yeah, until now, it's just discussions we have about that. Okay. Thank you for answering that one. And I believe we have one more question. I'm pretty sure I got through all 20 of these questions, which is something that I wasn't expecting. Maybe next time I'll have to add more. Um, so Help Darren says, when will the car handling be fixed? I've put the game aside for over a year or so because the driving was quite horrible with either the controller or the keyboard, but I've seen so many updates, I've reinstalled the game to figure it out, but driving is still a struggle. Right now, um, we are tinkering with the driving behavior to see how we um, can improve it. We didn't found yet the best settings, but we are still um, on it. And we need to do that for every single car, so because every single car feels and works a little bit different. So we need to be a little bit more patient, unfortunately. But uh, yeah, right now we look into that quite heavily. We have one person who's just doing that all the time. And we hope we find, uh, let's say, the golden rule for car behavior soon. <laughs> Yeah, because I've experienced myself, the car handling is is okay. You know, it, it's, I have seen improvements from when the game first came out. It has improved quite a bit, in my opinion. But yeah, it's good to hear that you have plans to improve it a bit more, to make it more responsive and maybe more realistic. Okay, so now I'm going to be asking questions that I can come up with off the top of my head because I have actually ran out of questions off my list, which is quite amazing. Uh, I didn't expect that to happen, but there we are. So, I'm supposing the one thing that people are going to want to know is when is the new police vehicle coming out? When is that going to be available for us to play with? Um, like I already mentioned, the games commas are quite heavily weak. Um, please watch out for that. There will be some um, updates for that when it will be available. So there's going to be a lot of information at Gamescom, guys. So really, you shouldn't miss that one. Definitely shouldn't miss that one. So I don't know if uh, you guys 
Laura, Thomas, or Nicholas, if you guys have anything to say or anything that you'd like to add. Well, in general, thanks for all the questions and for playing our game. We enjoy that you enjoy it and uh, continue to support us. So, thanks for that. Oh, you're most welcome. <laughs> you're most welcome. <laughs> yeah, I absolutely love the game. So, um, yeah, what I'm going to do now is try and get this AI vehicle out of here because they are parked inside my vehicle. And it doesn't look like they're going to want to move. So what we're going to do is we are just going to call that scene good. I know there's two people stuck in the back of my car. It is what it is. We are just going to go back to the precinct and end our shift because I think we have gone on for long enough. We've asked uh, some really good questions here. And yeah, we've got quite a lot of great answers as well. So, I do hope uh, you guys have all enjoyed watching this special episode of Police Simulator Patrol Officers. I have had a lot of fun over the past 100 episodes. It has been an absolute blast. Um, I would just like to thank Laura, Nicholas and Thomas for giving up their time to come here and answer some of your questions. Because that's very much appreciated. I do know that you guys are all very hardworking people. We are always happy to answer some questions for the community. We really appreciate all of you and also you, Beaver, for playing the game so long. It's your yeah, 100 episode. So thank you very much for that. And um, yeah, if you have, again, some questions, just drop me a message. You now have my contact on Discord. <laughs> yes, yes. And uh, that is going to pretty much do it for this episode, guys. Um, so yeah, I will be back in the next episode. And from now on, I am going to drop out the episodes' names because as good as they are, I've run out of names after 100 episodes. Like, I, it, sometimes I struggle to pick a good name for the episode. So from now on, I'm just going to call it episode 101, 102, etc. Because that makes my life much easier. Obviously, there will still be special milestone episodes like 150 and 200, etc. But yeah, from now on, it's just going to be much more simple for me in terms of naming the episodes. Um, if any more changes do come to the series of course i will let you guys know and yeah until the next episode guys take care